Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Jeremiah 29, verse number 10. Now we read verse number 13. And the Bible says in verse number 13, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Not forgetting that in verse number 12, the Bible tells the children of Israel, or he's speaking to us today, that then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. The second thing is that you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Again, very, very encouraging that you will seek me and find me. A great assurance that the Lord is ready to show up on your behalf. But the key thing here is that we must purpose to call upon him, to pray to him, and now to seek him. When we do this, he says that you will find me. And this is when you seek me with all your heart. Remember yesterday we said that now the Lord is addressing each and every one of us at a very personal level. It is only you or we can only dedicate our hearts and our lives to God at, a, at an individual level. When he says that you will seek me and find me, when you seek me with all your heart, it's upon each and every one of us to reflect and see how am I related to God and who is God to me. This God, first and foremost, in verse number, uh, number 11, who says, I know the plans I have for you. How am I related to him? He unfolds the plan and says that these are plans for your welfare, not for evil. Plans to give you a future and a hope. And he says that you will call upon me. You will come and pray to me and I will hear you. Now you will seek me and find me. How am I related with this God or to this God? Very personal. And now you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. Total surrender, total attention, total commitment. When you seek me with all your heart. When you do that, yes, you will find me. I'm looking at the version that I'm using here. This is the ESV. And the verse number 13 does not, does not talk about when we seek me with all your hearts. Not hearts. When you seek me with all your hearts. So personal. As the Lord speaks to us today, is calling us to reflect on our personal relationship with him and how am I dedicated and committed to him. Many times as the Lord speaks actually from verse number 10, we see that the Lord is talking to this community, telling them when the 70 years are over of uh, Babylon, I will visit you. And sometimes we tend to get lost into the multitude. Now he comes down all the way, calling upon each and every one of us at a very personal level. This will happen when you seek me with all your heart. At a personal level, seek the Lord. Not halfway. But with all your heart, dedicate yourself and your life to God. And he promises 
that we shall seek him and find him. We will not seek amiss. Yesterday we said we will not call amiss. And now here, as we seek, we will not seek amiss. He will be there for us. Seek the Lord, dedicate yourself to him, and you will never miss your way. The Lord bless you. God keep you. Have a blessed time. Shalom.